Hey guys, hi, hello, namaste, adabas, asriyakal, assalamu alaikum, manakkam and khamma gani to all of you. Welcome to today's class and as you all know, today this is like a conversation topic and we'll be discussing the tips on how to stay focused while studying, right? How can you maintain your focus uh, while studying, how to say, uh, read in such a way that you are more focused, you're not getting distracted. All right. So what should be your mindset towards that all that we are going to discuss. But before I move ahead guys, before that, let me tell you one thing that IOQM essential batches have already started and do not miss out on this. The amazing news is earlier the course was for 10,000, which is reduced to rupees 2,200. Now this price will be reduced further if you use the coupon code GPE Pro. And after using G GPE Pro, you'll be getting the whole course at just rupees 1980. And this is a really good course, guys, if you are an Olympiad enthusiast, because we'll be covering all the important topics which are there for IOQM. All right. All right. So this is a step closer towards your IOQM journey. And you can definitely register because the price right now is really very less. Okay, bacha. now study tips on how to stay focused while studying. So there you go. this is not, I, I would definitely say that this is not an easy task. This is difficult, but it is achievable, right? You can achieve this. What are the steps which you need to take care of? The first thing guys, which you need to understand is set clear goals. All right. Make yourself realize that what are your goals? What is your aim and how you are going to uh, say go towards it? Understand that if it is a big goal, try to break it into small portions. You know? Make your uh, say the work towards your goal. Make that but divide that work into small portions so that you'll get to know that whether you are able to complete the work or the the efforts required or not. Most of the times, what happens is suppose say if you have one week for your examination. All right, and say your maths examination, let's say there are 15 chapters, right? So at starting, you'll be like, okay, three chapters a day I'll do. Five days, a syllabus is over. And last two days, I'll be studying. But what happens is in the starting first two or three days, students don't take the exam seriously. They'll be like, yeah, you know, I have one week, I have six more days, I have three more days. But then you start realizing, yeah, now if I not study, then nothing's going to happen. Now you are in that tension that oh, yeah, I have to start studying, I have to start studying. And instead of studying, you are only worrying about it. And you are again wasting your time. Right. So this mindset happened because what happened is you did not take your task seriously and you th all only thought about the end result. That by the end of this, I'll be doing this. But you did not think that every day what are the tasks which needs to be completed if you'll focus on your everyday task which needs to be completed if you'll complete them definitely you'll reach to your goal but if you don't focus on your everyday task obviously uh, procrastination and all and it will again further increase your burden and it will make you feel more say demotivated all right so break your task into smaller uh, smaller sets all right and uh, make sure that you are completing your daily task your daily goals you are achieving daily. So these small achievements will definitely take you to your uh, larger goal. All right. Okay. So that will definitely make your goal clear. Okay. Bacha? So the next thing, next thing which I would like to tell you all is reset your focus. Resetting your focus. What do I mean by that? That identify what is your style. How do you work? Do you uh, say, uh, sorry, are you, a, uh, are you a person who say likes to study at night or you're a person who likes to study in the morning, uh, start with your say difficult subject and with the uh, easy subjects and uh, see when your energy is higher. If it requires, you can take some rest in between also how to take rest. So, so identify your learning style, how much continuous sitting you can do uh, with, with like full efficiency say half an hour, 40 minutes. And after that, suppose if you need a break of five minutes. Alone. So identify your, uh, say your strength, identify your weakness, right? See how you are utilizing your time. All right. So you need to understand the guys that time is the most important asset for you, right? Time, if you, if you, if you will start valuing time, you'll definitely understand that how important it is, whatever task is at your hand. All right. So, and, and if you feel like they suppose some subject, some task is there, which is very tedious, uh, suppose a difficult subject is there. And uh, so, so make sure you, you start with that, uh, a difficult subject so that you'll be more motivated at the start of the day, right? Don't, don't study a difficult subject at the end of the day because you're already very tired. You don't understand anything. 
okay so these are the things which you need to do also you can start meditating to increase your focus avoid distraction this is the for like most important thing right now stay away from all the social medias uh, when you are working on your goals all right stay away from it now uh, make sure that your your phone and your laptop and all when you are studying you are only using it for your study purpose don't be like ki you are opening it for watching a video of say um, say some chapter say you wanted to see uh, the video of polynomial but and after watching that you are going to instagram also this that don't do all that right so make yourself aware that you don't want these distractions in your um, uh, are surrounding you right so use them efficiently do not waste a lot of time because social media waste a lot and lot and lot of time and also try to do this thing that when you are studying try to put your phone in silent all right so that you'll you'll not get the unnecessary notifications okay pay attention to yourself best thing the most important thing you need to start understanding yourself then you'll start understanding everything all right understand yourself what are your thoughts what do you want what is your thought process what is your mindset what are your strengths what are your weaknesses uh, where do you work efficiently when do you don't when you do not work efficiently so all these things start uh, talking to yourself start knowing yourself first you have to know yourself what are your strengths what are weakness and then you'll be able to understand everything all right so start talking to yourself start knowing yourself all right so pay attention to yourself then quality over quantity every time quality over quantity it doesn't matter if you are say studying 6 hours a day and your friend is studying only 4 hours a day maybe your friend is learning more than you because maybe he is more uh, studying with more focus with more quality so don't just uh, make a time table that i am studying for 10 hours a day you only be the judge that have you studied 6 hours efficiently or not all right so focus on the quality not on the numbers oh i i was sitting in my front of my on my table for say uh, i was sitting here for 10 year 10 hours to study but in that 10 hours what if you were 8 hours you were just surfing the internet or not right so that you need to understand okay so focus more on quality then self motivation self motivation is the best form of motivation guys i have told you again and again you do not require motivation from outside that is going to last only for one day or two day i have been telling this from like almost every session i'll say this self motivation is what keeps you going because there comes that there, there will be some situations where you will not be able to say uh, think what to do ahead and you'll be feeling like ki yeah, you have made it a mess you'll be like ki i cannot go beyond it and at that point of time no one can motivate you at that point of time you need to motivate yourself that no yaar i have come this far i'll not uh, say take a step back and i'll keep on moving all right so self motivation is what makes you keep moving forward hai na if you are motivated enough you will every day you will moving you will be keep moving forward otherwise if you are seeking the motivation from outside first thing you're wasting your time over there second thing guys that that motivation only last for hours or days one day two day then done then again back to normal all right so know yourself pay attention to yourself and motivate yourself that why you are doing this make yourself realize that why you are studying why you are uh, whatever goal you are whatever is your goal tell yourself why you are doing it what is your aim all right so that is definitely going to help you and again yeah, at this tender age it is very important to take care of your health right okay so make sure you have a good sleep eat healthy and uh, exercise and all uh, play as well hai na so all those things are very important do not sideline them they are also very important for your uh, complete development physical development as well as mental development okay guys so these are the seven steps which you should definitely think of and uh, for any other help any other query you can just put a comment section uh, put your comment in the comment section and also if you are looking for a course where you can uh, say start your preparation so link is in the mention uh, link is mentioned in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment you can apply the coupon code gpe pro to get 10% off and you can definitely take the term to uh, term one term two year long course right now uh, for grade 10th or ioqm batch ntsc crash course anything 
all right guys so you have term one full uh, uh, sorry you have the term one full year long course this is the year long course term one term two together all right and you can start trying this as well you can try it for one month if you want to see gp pro is the code again you need to apply all right okay bachcho so thank you so much for joining the session i hope all of you enjoyed it please don't forget to like this video before you go share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel if you are new here thank you so much i'll see you all till then bye bye sayonara khuda hafiz to all of you bye bye guys